Alright, thank you folks for joining me on, I guess, the first of potentially many pretty shitty endeavors that we're going to try here. <laughs> well, today we got... Would you actually want to do a max unit bear? Mouse? Well, you'd be surprised on the answer on this one. Or not really. Depending on if you know the J JP circle. So, I'm going to go over a couple of things today with him. We'll play test him a little bit. I'll put him up against some of the other casters. We'll go over his stats and take a look at his viability. I mean, for the most part, I've only put a little, little crummy wisdom weapon on him to try and get him somewhat close to Zoma in terms of wisdom. He's sitting at 379. Max level, max S rank, the whole nine yards. I haven't really done much with his abilities. I've even given him Swish just for the fuck of it, just so he has something extra in terms of range. I do think that his Necrogon wave might potentially be useful at some point. The Confuse seems interesting, so it may come into play. Granted, there are going to be a few areas where, where this unit will shine. There are some things down the road, there are some fights where his bang ability will come in handy. So, if you do have him, you do want to level it up and use him for that type of damage, that's not too bad. But, here are the areas where he really doesn't doesn't shine. I mean, his, his abilities in terms of his passive, just his passive versus Zomas isn't really the greatest. His resistances are... Okay, Wush is nice. Zam is, is nice to have. But a lot of units have Frizz and Crack, no problem. They're going to take him down. He's got a decent amount of HP, I'll give him that. He's got 815. It's, it's not bad at all. Decent MP. But, I mean, here's the thing. With this unit... If you're looking to use him for something like Arena, it's just not viable. Let's take a look in comparison to where he stands in terms of other units on the agility spectrum. So for this unit, in terms of... Now, in terms of agility, mind you, you can tell here already who's, who's kind of king of the hill. But we have to scroll... decent amount down, and here we see that our, our good buddy Baramos is at the same ranking as Living Statue. He's at, he's at sit, sit, uh, 230 agility. Now let's go ahead and let's actually just mess around with him. And put him in for some stuff. And I'll show him off. Let's use him here. Let's actually use him on his fight. So let's put all the spellcasters together. Let's get Baramos in here too. Let's not sort this by agility anymore, otherwise... That's a travesty in itself. We'll just see how he does in this fight. We'll put Arch in here, too. Like even Arch has a little bit more... for his buck. Now, the sad thing is, you're probably gonna have a couple of these. It's, it's just a given. You do want to get the Serpent. And I'll probably do a video on that at some point. And so just in terms of the power for the serpent itself. But I mean just just his this guy's abilities here, Zoma is way, way better. Just looking over his stuff. Just in terms of everything. Just let him go up auto. Here, I wanna get this. Let's go over Baramos again. I mean He's, he's instantly got... Not the greatest. I mean, two move. These abilities are not bad. I mean, they can do some decent damage, but... In terms of things, he's lacking in some other areas. Well, we'll just let him auto it out. And I'll put the speed down, too, so you guys can get an idea. Oh god, normal is too slow. Okay, fast, I guess, is alright. Glacial Doom 7. There's <laughs> another one down. I 
Okay, he gets to do his Kaboom 3. That's not too bad. 726 for a plus 3. It's not... It's not hateful. I mean... Yeah, granted, it's not Zoma level. I mean, you gotta remember, these two are... They're both Max Awakened. They're both level 100. But, I mean, there's very few situations where you're gonna actually use Baramos. I mean, if you haven't gotten Zoma, I'd get a Zoma. I'd get... You know, as many duplicates of him as possible. Whereas with Baramos, it's just... Yeah. We're going to do another test. I'm going to see if I can level him up a little bit more. Give his skill a little bit more oomph. Just to try and make it seem like there's some sort of fighting chance for him. Because our next test is going to be a little bit different. I'm actually going to stack him up against a unit I think you should get. So let's see if we got some tomes. Let's try and get him a couple levels. We're doing this for science, kids. Come on. Veramos has been failing all his life. Give him a couple of pluses here. Oh, this is so sad. Nope, oh, fail again. It's gonna go the full way, huh? Yeah. Almost went the full way. Okay. Fine, great. Let's even get him one more. I know it's like 15% chance, but... Let's see. Let's see if we're feeling lucky here. Do a little bit of gambling. Wouldn't be a Kage video without... Okay, plus five. Cool. But I don't know when to quit. So let's fuck it. Let's just go for... If we get this, great. If not, it is what it is. What do I care? Right? Come on. Go for six. Because we don't know when to quit. Ah. Uh. I think we got one more. Hmm. Okay. Well, now for the next area I'm going to throw him into. We'll do. We'll do an easy battle road with him. And I'll just put him in there with the unit I really think you should get, which we'll look into more later on. So we'll do rank six. We'll put in... Baramos as well. We'll even give him him a home team advantage here. We'll even let him have leadership status so he can get 15% on his attack. And we'll see. See how he does. This fight may surprise you. That serpent is no joke. We'll see what he does with plus five. Okay. Not not hateful. I mean it's not it's not bad at all. It's decent damage in some situations. It's just this guy isn't gonna be your, your best friend in a lot of situations though. He's not gonna be your best friend in arena. He's not gonna be your best friend in a lot of fights, but couple areas where he does seem to shine is he does have decent output for that one spell type. So let's, let's take a look and see how many different units actually have some sort of bang ability. Oh, I mean, I put, put it on Wet Knight and whatnot. So, I mean, there's not too many. Musifer's a good one. You know, you have him. You have Arch. So, I mean, for that regard, for that type of damage... He's pretty decent. It's it's good to have, but in terms of MP capacity and other things, he's he's got a little bit of an edge there too. I'll give him that. I mean, he can cast a couple of those spells in rapid succession. He could do a few, but the only problem is, I mean, when you look at him compared to again other units, let's go back up. Let's let's check in. Let's let's even do like a. What's it called? Let's even compare him to my my DL. DL's rank one. I mean, DL can fire off a decent amount too. Even his his best spell is only 97 MP. He can hit it just about as many times as Baramos can, and he's only a wink and one. So, I mean. If you see like a retry banner for these guys, go for that. But otherwise, thank you guys for tuning in. We'll do more of these in the future. I may live stream some other stuff too. And uh, we'll see you then. Take care.